Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we are back to playing a league this week. We start up a new league. Uh, it's been a minute since we've done a league, and I know I kept saying I would do them, and I haven't. Uh, so my apologies, but we're starting one up now, finally, with Naya Slivers, now that we're like, what, 40 practice rounds deep or something like that. Uh, we got a mulligan in this hand, though. We're up against Gold Cobra. Ugh. Yuck, this is even worse. Well, we're not off to a great start. Jeez. Okay, well, we'll ditch a couple of these. Say done. And we'll see how this goes. Going against uh, probably some uh, aggro, Boros aggro. Uh, not the best start against them. Oh, do I got an upkeep thing here? Let's do that. Oh, nice. We got a turn one play. That's good. That helps. That helps. Pass to them. <clears throat> I've been sitting on these 100 play points for another league for like two two months now or something. <laughs> Just never, never got a chance to find the time to do it. I like doing the leagues all at once and recording all at once, so... I know I don't have to do that, but uh, I like to, just to get it done. Golden Egg. Probably see that Skyfisher next turn is my assumption. Uh, they're a little down on red at the moment. Uh, we'll wait on that Ash Barons. So we're just gonna go into Muscle here. And start going in. They could crack this golden egg, kill our muscle if they wanted. If they do that, we'll probably go gem hide and just drop our striking. Just empty our hand a little bit. Alright, Glint Hawk. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's super windy out right now by my house. Hopefully that's not coming through on the microphone. Bring back the golden egg. <clears throat> Boros Garrison. Okay, getting their mana right. And a relic. In the main, for all that Tron. And Delver, I assume. Alright, so yeah, we'll just run out of gem hide. Should have actually, Ash Baron's got a mountain and then played gem hide. That would have been the correct line there. 100%. Um, but now, th I think we'll just put down a striking and pass since I kind of messed up that line. Uh, don't really want them to. They could double block, we could kill the Glint Hong. Yeah, we can still attack in with this. Um, do I really want it dead though? No, I'm going to pass one more turn. This is fine. And we'll Ash Barons the plated. End of turn. Another misplay. Could have done it that turn. <laughs> ah, lovely. First league, make a bunch of misplays on my mana. My bad. Wish we had a little bit more of a powerful start. A bit unfortunate. We got a decent board though. I mean, one Lord and we're in really good shape. I haven't seen a Galvanic Blast hit or anything yet. Glint Hawk, they're just doing their doing their thing. Establishing the board. <clears throat> And they'll start swinging. All right. Will they? They're thinking about it. Yep. All right. We'll take the two. I 
Uh, now. Yeah, we'll, we'll just grab the mountain just in case. Sinew? Alright. Perfect. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, so now we can get swinging. Good pressure. First striker's out. I, I assume they may just chump block something with Thraben, maybe keep back their Glint Hawks. Take 9. Go to 10. Unless they're feeling especially threatened, but... Alright, yep, what I assumed. Alright, so they go to 10. Still sitting on a gem hide in our hand. No big deal. Not out of range of Galvanic Blast, still. Golden Egg. Getting that card draw. gonna attack in all right that's a bit dangerous oh uh, no not really actually we'll take this they'll probably they could like put something down bounce something oh they're just gonna pass okay interesting well let's winding way see what we can find Ooh, I like all that it's very nice all right we will uh, definitely throw down another one of these Try to get out of range of a Galvanic or something. Uh, but now we just basically got lethal. Uh, unless I get some kind of removal or something. But, uh, let's see, do I want to do anything else here? What could they be holding back? We could double Galvanic Blast and kill something, maybe? We're just going to swing. Maybe they're just making us play it out. Alright, Prismatic Strands. Ah, yes, I forgot they played with that. I haven't seen this card in a while. Alright, that's fine. They Prismatic Strands. They can flash back with it. They can put us to 10 this turn. So what we'll do next turn is we'll only swing in for uh, what we need to. Uh, did they do this wrong? Oh, just from the source of that color. Yes, that's right. Okay. So I assume they did it against green or something. They took a lot. So yeah, we'll only swing in with what we need to next turn, and then we'll just empty our hand. Because um, they'll have to crack this pris prismatic strands with the flashback, assumedly. Unless they got like another one in their hand or something. Could be just Boros Monar Monarch, more likely. Um, I need to learn, like, the main difference between the two. Like, everybody calls, like, Boros Aggro. Some people call it Boros Monarch. Uh, I guess it's just the rate of play. Boros Monarch's a little bit more uh, set on removal and setting up their board a little bit more slower. Obviously, is going to be attacking in, which usually they're running the Glint Hawks. Um, but they got so many extra stuff that they've been playing that it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I'm just going to assume it's it's the aggro version since they are still going on the beat down a little bit. Here's another glint. Drawing another land would be nice so we can just play out our two lords and not have to worry about tapping anything. Yep, swing in for four. Oh, 
Alright, we don't draw it. Still gonna put this down. Oh, we might as well throw that down too. And we only need to swing with a couple things here. So we'll just swing with this and this. I can block one. Yeah, that's reasonably fine. And then we can play out our two other creatures and just go empty handed just in case we draw a blade back or something. I should have actually swung in with one more white creature. Right. I keep thinking it just negates all combat damage, but if I had swung in with one white creature, we could have got him because we could have swung in with black, green, white, and then they could only do that on one thing. Ah, uh, so that was a misplay. That was, that was a bad misplay. Not great. Paying the costs. What do you got? Clue? Sure. Cracking the relic. Sure. They are looking for the answers. Yeah, we could have won last turn. Uh, that's that's bad on my part. Yeah, alright. We still got it. It's fine. Let's go to the sideboard. So, Boris Aggro, huh? Uh, well, we want the Flaring Pains. Fireball, we can bring in one of those. Maybe drop one blade back for that. Uh, Gleeful Sabotage is good in this match. Let's see. We got a Hunter. I'll leave in the Hunters. Need to cut four things. I think I'll drop a striking. We can just get out of range of them pretty quickly anyways. Drop a winding. Cut two more things. Hunter can be useful, but I don't think it's necessary. So maybe we drop it still? Yeah, I'm fine with dropping it. We'll drop that. We got 30 creatures. Two Gleefuls, two Flaring Pains. Uh, drop one Lee the Stampede. Don't really want to. Fireball. Um, maybe Fireball isn't as good. I think we can just rely on the blade back here. Let's do like this. That's fine. Okay. Uh, that's reasonable. Uh, yeah, we'll keep... So we'll go turn one Viverlint into turn two Mountain into Sinew, and then the next turn we can drop Sidewinder, but we'll we'll uh, reassess as we draw. Just 
just wait for them. All right. Top of your library, okay. Gem hide. Gem hide is nice for gleeful sabotage if we want to blow up their lands or anything. We can wait till we have creatures down and then hit this a bunch. Alright, Vile into a Plains. We'll get that down first. And I think we'll just drop the Lord still, start getting aggro. This Ashburns will just grab us another forest when we need it. We could just pop a Gleeful Sabotage on, like, their red artifact land if they get it. That might be decent as well. Oblivion Ring. Alright. Well, we can blow that up with Gleeful Sabotage. And play out our Sidewinder. I think that's a better thing to do. Or, you know what? I think now... We still got a Lord in play. I think I'll just get this Lord out, and then we'll Gleeful Sabotage when it's necessary to get that back. Alright, there's a red. Glint Hawk. Draw another card with Alchemist. Passing. Alright. Let's cycle this. Uh, just grab another planes. Or forest, I mean, I'm sorry. So how do we want to run this now? I think we just kind of want to attack. Do we want to get back our lord now? That is the question. Get a bunch of 3-3s three with flanking. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait for now. And just swing in. We can still attack into this Glint Hawk. We're in decent shape. Uh, cause if we can conspire, uh, at least like once and hit another really good target, it'd be really nice. Uh, so we'll just play out our gem hide here. Just in case they like, um, another, get another oblivion ring on our predatory or they do, um, journey to nowhere on it, we can next turn... Conspire with Gleeful Sabotage, destroy both of them, and then uh, get back our lords. And that'll be a big waste of their turn. There's nothing here right now on this board that's really calling me to rescue my, my lord yet. We're ahead. What you got for me, Cobra? I 
I'd really love to draw into a flaring pane at this point, just so we can seal off the game in case they're holding on to those prismatic strands. So we got a lot of green, so they just call green and we don't get in for that much damage. Thraben Chump Blocker. Sure. You gonna crack it? Yep, crack the clue. Hold up their double source. Okay, probably pop back Radiant Fountain for more life. Yep. Smart. We're bluffing like uh, Vines of Vastwood protection right now too, even though we don't have it in our deck or sideboard. But they uh, could be used to other slivers running it. Flo phone is blowing up right now. Just passing. All right. Plated's nice. We'll definitely pop that out. Um. I'm gonna do something in response to this. I say we just, uh, let's see. If we attack in, they're holding on to something. Maybe it's best to just grab our guy now, just in case they're trying to go for some kind of crazy play. Yeah. I'm worried they're holding up some kind of removal and they're going to try to eat a lord and one of our other creatures with a double block. Uh, so I think I'm going to do this now. Just grab him back, just in case that's trying to happen. We'll have another lord on the field to help us with the flanking and getting in through these guys. I know we can go off with this Gleeful, but I think it's the right time. See, they're gonna... Yep, that's what I was expecting. So. We'll get back our Lord, but now they are tapped out. We'll get our Lord back, and we can still swing in. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Uh, only unfortunate thing now is that we are empty handed. We do the got them on a good dirty clock of poisonous right now too. They're at eight poisonous so we kill them on poisonous as well. They'll uh, gain two life if they do their radiant fountain here but uh, they might be more concerned about this Viverland now at this point. Who knows. Still got plenty of cards in hand. I mean, five cards to zero. They definitely have the card advantage. <laughs> Just drawing a blade back would be nice. I think. Chance of them pulling into more removal are pretty high, I feel like, so I can't imagine our sinew hanging around like a ton longer. But let's see what they can do here. We haven't seen Skyfisher either game. There's Sky Fisher. Bring back the Alchemist file. Yep. Yeah. 
Ooh, getting bold. All right. They're trying to put a clock on us here. Uh, I'm just hoping for a good top deck so we can be more assured in this. Uh, that's pretty good top deck, yeah. I'll take that. Uh, so we'll swing in here. They definitely could be holding up prismatic strands. So let's see what happens. We got them on two poisonous. They can block two things. We got three coming in, so... This seems like setting up for prismatic strands. Maybe they got removal that they're sitting on still, but... This would be the time for prismatic. One, two, three, prismatic. Oh, questioning. And flaring pain. Boom. There we go. Cool. All right. Match one down. Let's go. Uh, that was cool. Boracite Girl. First one down. Uh, we will move on to match two. So please make sure to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying us playing League. Finally, uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the matches coming up this week. And we will see you guys in match number two.